Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pigs Barners here, and welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney 2. When we left off, <laughs> I think that pretty much sums up yeah. everything you need to know. Every question that you may have. <laughs> but the, the answer to your question is, it's Sherlock. Yes. So we've talked to him all we need to, apparently. So we're going to move oh. on over to Lord As much as I don't Chief want to Justice's leave him. Office. I know, but we must keep this party rolling. Yeah. And go meet. Oh. oh. Hi. You two are talking. Okay. God, how tall is that dude? He's massive. Because Van Deeks is 6'4". How? Oh, my. So he's like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, at least. Then the hair spikes don't help. No. <laughs> Giants conversing. Huh. Interesting. All right. <coughs> oh, it's been a, it's been a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> he is the final draft of the opening address for tomorrow's proceedings. I've supplemented your original with the figures you asked from the fall from the yard. I see. Excellent work. Thank you. You're welcome, my lord. What's our guys he's doing here? My, there seems to be an awful lot of tension in the air, wouldn't you say? They look like they're they want to just attack each other. <laughs> this place is stifling enough as it is. You really don't need any more tension. Like they look like they want to kill each other, but they can't. I <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My apologies. I didn't notice you come in. Your small stature and dark dress make you all but invisible to me. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, no, it's entirely my fault for wearing black up here. From now on, you must dress in white from head to toe whenever you come here. Yes. <laughs> now then, Mr. Narahodo. Hey, yes, my lord. I'm right here. I, mm. <laughs> Ryu uh, is short. Sure. He's like five something. He uh, kill me now. <laughs> is something wrong? Perhaps it's a little too hot in here for you. Oh, no, no, not at all. I mean, I've never experienced a room with such a perfect temperature. If you're sure, it'll be the sweat carving their way down your face seem to suggest otherwise. Because the daggers you're staring at me with, mainly. As you're no doubt aware, my International Forensic Science Symposium begins tomorrow. In fact, your father arrived in London earlier today, I hear, madam. Uh, oh, yes, that's right, my lord. He's extremely honored to have been invited. Hi. I'll leave the remaining preparations for the meeting room in your capable hands then, Lord Van Zeeks. I will attend at once. Don't look at me like that. But, okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> bye? <laughs> he gave you a very cold <coughs> stare as he left, didn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. But I haven't done anything. Have I? Have you? <laughs> I, I don't know. These past few days, my feet have barely touched the ground, I must say. Huh? My dedicated right hand of many years was easily put out of action in spectacular fashion. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is your left hand still of service? Oh, Mr. Harno <laughs> Mr. Naruto! He's talking about Dr. Sith? Oh, of course. Oh my god. Um, I'm terribly sorry about that. I was just, uh, That's um, right, I forgot. Fear not, you've done nothing wrong. Dr. Sith's own wrongdoing participated the Precipated. Precipated the situation. You needn't concern yourself with it any further. That would be a lot easier to do if it weren't for the piercing stare you're giving me. Yeah. Or Vincent is doing an admirable job of holding the fort. Though disturbingly, his apprentice has been missing since yesterday. Uh, oh. <laughs> missing? What's become of Kazuma-sama now? He's not hiding in my room at all. I mean, what? <laughs> Hey, um, uh, the Forensic Science Symposium. <laughs> you put him in a wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Not long ago, visitor numbers to the Great, great Exhibition exceeded 30 million. Th 30 million? Are there even that many people in the world? Oh, you sweet, <laughs> sweet boy. <laughs> As a comparison, Mr. Narahodo, the population of the Imperial capital Tokyo is 2 million. Stop blowing his mind! <laughs> I'll be opening the International Forensic Science Symposium in the exhibition's main auditorium. This event has been two years in the making. Two years of preparations and negotiations with other countries. Sounds like a tremendous achievement. Congratulations. The 20th century will see the wholesale adoption of forensic investigation techniques. And cooperation between policing organizations around the globe will be essential. Which is why... 
This landmark first symposium is to be hosted here at the heart of our great British Empire. In order to, in order that Scott, in order that Scotland Yard can become the leading investigative organization in the new world. You are terrifying, sir. He's the same as ever, I see. That passion of his is quite something. He's like the kind of guy who's like, all right, I'm going to rule London and then the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're every bit as passionate in your own way, I'm sure, Mr. Narhodo. About a burrito, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> about a burrito. <laughs> I'm the only person in this country who truly cares about a future that embraces forensic science. What, what's a burrito? <laughs> uh, I'll show you that. It was my intention to become Her Majesty's Attorney General and reform the guard from the ground up. So the disgrace of the forensic investigation team has been a bitter blow to my ambitions. Plot twist, Ryu invented the burrito. <laughs> the great invention. <laughs> I first established the forensic investigation team a year ago. Experimentally, to start with. With Dr. Sith at the helm, it was steadily accruing an impressive record of achievement. I was on the verge of changing its name and elevating its status to a full-blown forensic investigation department. And can you not do that now? Obviously, nobody wants to hear anything about it at the moment. Even I can't keep this story out of the papers. Six million Londoners will be cursing forensic science now. This incident will set back our country's advancement in the field by a good ten years, I'd say. Ooh. Unintended repercussions of our trial. Oh. We simply <clears throat> couldn't have overlooked what had happened, though. You could have. <laughs> but I guess, of course not. We should all be grateful to you both. Maybe. He really wants to just murder. Anyway, I'll still reform this country's policing when I become Attorney General. This might delay my plans, but it won't alter them. Nothing will stand in my way. Okay. Whew. Not the missing apprentice guy, though. Um, the, that Lord means he's apprentice. Ah, <coughs> uh, yes. That came as a surprise to me, I must say. That you and he are old friends. Why did we become an apprentice to Lord Van Zeeks in the first place? Didn't you do that if I remember correctly? <laughs> it came about three months ago. An unidentified Asian man was apprehended by border police. They found him hiding aboard a large goods vessel. Oh my! So he stowed away to get here! He had no papers to identify him, no passport, and he was suffering from amnesia too. Other than the fact he was clearly of Eastern descent, there were no clues as to who he was. So I decided to assign him to Lord Van Zeeks. That way I could keep an eye on him. But then, why the mask? Yeah. I didn't want to burden Lord Van Zeeks with tiresome explanations about why he had an Eastern apprentice. Oh. Because it would be so much easier to explain why he was wearing a mask. <laughs> he's proving to be a great help to Lord Van Zeeks. I have high hopes for his future. But now he's missing. Yeah. By the way, do you know where he's gone? No idea. It wouldn't be missing if I knew, would it? <laughs> <sighs> and you're an attorney, okay? But I believe he's left London for the time being. Oh. <laughs> I take you also didn't know. That the man's father is one of our country's most infamous criminals, I mean. Uh-huh, uh-huh, again, Shinosogi. Ooh. <coughs> <sighs> Uh, let's go ahead and go into all that is detail. Is voice now. attacking your vocal cords already? Uh, it's actually not that bad. I just have a cough because I always have a cough. <laughs> what we learned from that trial eight days ago was a huge shock. Finding out my friend's father was... Ah, uh, yes. Genshin Asogi. The professor case ten years ago caused a great stir here in Britain. They were such awful murders and unprecedented using a ferocious dog as a murder weapon. No one would have believed the culprit was a foreign student and invited to study here by the government. I forgot the weapon was a dog. I didn't. I didn't even remember that at all. I didn't remember that being a thing. I wanna. I, wanna... I remember that very brief, briefly because I was like, Sir and Dogen's ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh... So the trade in the killer couldn't be made public then, and it can't be made public now. Nobody in the country knows it was him, and neither do the citizens of London. The main motivation was to avoid aggravating relations between our two nations at the time, I understand. A lot of Asians in that <laughs> in that sentence. <laughs> Correct. However, it has to be noted that there were some supporters of the professor's apparent cause. What? Supporters of mass murder? The 
majority of the man's victims were a blight on the aristocracy of the day. Somewhat ironically, their deaths actually befitted society as a whole, benefited society as a whole. Oh. Or so a fear few thinkers in London believed anyway. That's dark. Right. I see. But it was still murder, wasn't it? We don't even know Batman shit going on here. <laughs> it seems very similar, doesn't it? The idea of the Reaper of the Bailey. Huh? Eh? <laughs> oh, was that it? Oh. Okay. Um, All right. Have you seen my attorney's badge? <laughs> um, can I show you this? Lord Strongheart? Still trying to get used to that. <laughs> I'm the Lord Chief Justice. I'm not here to offer advice about evidence. Oh. Okay. Especially when the evidence in question is so dull. Ooh. Oh. So that's the real reason. Okay. I, I'm sure you don't care about the redheaded uh, league article either. So what if, what if that's what he cares about? <laughs> um, he's like, oh, let me go dye my hair red real quick. Uh, I, also, I, also, I, also, I should love to ask. I would love. I should love to ask if I could borrow some books, but I just can't. <laughs> um, where the hell do we go then? Oh, we'll go back home and see if uh, yeah, the, the, the client, the, the clients arrived. That's right. Ding a ling a ling. Boop, 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 boop. Boom, boom. Oh, hi. Uh, hello, banana phone. Huh? Here's my guest now, my latest client, with money to spend. Oh, I do hope it's an exciting case, Holmesy. <laughs> Remember, Iris, we are at present. We are at present grabbed by the greatest problem known to man. Poverty? <laughs> <laughs> you are quite right on that one. <laughs> I must be willing to accept any case, no matter how unstimulating. Save locating a runaway, of course. Don't spare anyone's feelings, will you? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like, so you can't even buy my help. Wow. <laughs> it's like, ow. <laughs> oh dear, I'm afraid that Humsy can lack a little tact, especially just before the rent is due. Uh. Hi. Oh my god. Why does she look familiar? Was, wasn't... I don't... She looks familiar um, to me. Was, was she, she a juror? I think she was a juror once. I can't remember because it's been a while. She looks familiar to me. <clears throat> anyway. She might. But um, uh, this feels like one of those like heavy, pompous British accents. Oh, you right mean here. like this? That, that's exactly what, <laughs> like I look at that and that's what I see. Like the, the super, the hairdo, the yeah. jewels all over, the fancy fluffy dress. So like basically when I gave a... Uh, it's so pompous. <laughs> So that's was it Garon? Is that is that was that her name? The queen? I don't think her. I don't think he gave her that pump. Well, oh, oh yeah, was. when she was the queen, trust you did. me. Not when she was the prosecutor. No, when she was like this. Yeah. <laughs> Mister Holmes, Mister Sherlock Holmes, please, oh please, please find my husband. He's run away. Oh, I'm sure he's. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I bet he's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> I just realized the the funny part of that of of what do you know what the funny part is that is that I just thought of what because the fact is is he just said is like yeah, he just I'll do said, anything except for a runaway case yeah because like he would be like, like hey find a sogi for us and he's just like oh fuck <sighs> to upset me <laughs> I beg your pardon if you mind a personal matter my apologies um well what exactly are you trying to say Mr. Nahoda? Uh, <laughs> I didn't say a word. That's funny. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Come on, do, madam. Be seated. Iris, some tea, if you please. Of course. You're next in line. <laughs> you sit behind her, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Miss Susado? Oh, it's it's just that gentlewoman. I feel sure I've seen her somewhere before, very recently. So I was uh, right. Yes, now you've come to mention it. Evie! Huh. She's a Pokemon. <laughs> As I explained earlier, my name is Evie Vigil. Is that supposed to be kind of like... Evie Vigil. I don't know if that's supposed to play on like evening Vigil. Like, like, or Eve Vigil. Because Vigil, if they're trying to make a pun of it, as I'm trying to think of. Mm. But I'm distracted, but I'll get back on focus. In a second. There we go. All right. I am not here to take the case of money is no object. Simply name your figure. Oh. I, um. 
Money and wealth are a little conquest to me, madam. But maybe, uh, <laughs> I don't know, my rent will do. Uh, being offered a case to solve is rewarding enough. Oh, Mr. Holmes, you're the picture of benevolence. I will, of course, make a mental note of your offer, however, <laughs> for a contingent. Go yeah. Contingent reasons. You got it the <laughs> yeah, first time. I trust you'll remember your words also. Um, if I might inquire, sir. This gentleman and lady would be... Oh, um, me? Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what Real I am about I... to tell you is I should like to communicate in the strictest confidence, you understand. Ah, these are my friends. I assure you, you may say before this pair anything which you may say to me. Ah. Oh, I, I see. I, I can I, vouch I, for the gentleman personally, after <laughs> all. He's hard of hearing. <laughs> Why would I ever get my hopes up? <laughs> <sighs> I guess I'll talk to you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh. Uh, forgive me for asking, Mrs. Vigil, but have we met somewhere before? Quite recently, perhaps. Oh, my! <laughs> my dear fellow, what is your intention? Did you have no ability to differentiate the facial features of the English? Uh, if you wish to invite a lady to tea, you must do so in a more gentlemanly fashion. That's that's not. Is it possible? I chose a nice young lawyer from the trial I attended last week. Ah, so you were one of them. I, I knew I recognized her. Yep, called it. To have a man's fate in the palm of one's hand. Oh gosh! Oh golly! It shivers down my spine. All right, <laughs> go off. <laughs> I didn't quite recognize her because she's acting so differently now. <laughs> oh gosh, oh golly. <laughs> oh no, don't. <laughs> Must be very difficult for you as a lawyer, being hard of hearing, I mean. Oh, yeah. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'm so sorry. Don't worry if you got here. It was uh, frippery, really. Nothing more? This is fucking you troll. You started, Mr. You troll. Thank Look at him smirking. Look, he knows what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's done. It would be prudent for you to sit quietly in the corner. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <sighs> oh. What is about your husband, madam? He's missing. No, Mr. Virgil, my daily. Oh, like daily and like daily Evie. vigil. Day and evening, I'm guessing. So that is, so there's the pun. So daily vigil and then. Like Eve vigil, or evening yeah. vigil, but anyway. He's 40 years of age. I have a photograph here. Take a look at it. Ah. Huh. Well, look at this photograph. <laughs> I will say every time I see the haircut, it makes me laugh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm an entirely unremarkable gentleman. Wow. By, uh, appearance wow. at least. <laughs> she just straight so, up call her husband uh, ugly uh, to her <laughs> face. <laughs> just getting the questions. So, so, how long have you been married? It will be 15 years this year. Wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we have a cordial relationship, and my husband's income is more than adequate, so we live quite comfortably. And now I understand. Yeah. <laughs> that solved my question. That's what it appears. <laughs> I need to look at you to know these things. <laughs> <laughs> I only need to look at you these, know these things. It's pretty <laughs> easy to find out why he's run away. Uh, oh, gosh. Your dress is done later style, and your hat clearly regularly groomed, and your eyes are animated. In short, you have no inkling as to why your husband might have disappeared. Correct. That's right. He's a kind man with a strong sense of loyalty, and he rather dotes on me. Wait a minute. Does your husband have red hair? <laughs> Iris, get the shovel. Now. Holmesy, what did you do? <laughs> it needs to go deeper in the ground. <laughs> oh, you would you like some tea? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, which would point to the possibility um, that he's become embroiled in some She almost drops the teapot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is exactly what I fear must have happened, Mr. Holmes. I'm quite beside myself. My husband's employment is somewhat unusual, you see. What if he's incurred some miscreant's ill will? I, I can't say for sure if he has at the moment, but... <laughs> I will look for him. I'm sure I can find something of the sort. What exactly is your husband's line of work? Um, He's a ward at the prison. Oh. You could have fooled me on that one. <laughs> I'm sure the prisoners love his haircut. 
The guard? That is somewhat unusual. <laughs> You've missed doing bits of Sherlock, oh, haven't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, your husband is a prison warder. That's right, yes. Well, in actual fact, he's the chief warder. Now that I could not have deduced in my life. <laughs> Indeed, I see. Um, well, Chief Prison Warder certainly qualifies as something of a specialist occupation. Uh, yes, it does indeed. My poor husband must prepare those dreadful punishments and see that they're carried out. Dreadful punishments? Does she mean capital punishments? Like Murakuma! <laughs> and at such times, he must occasionally spend a night or two in the prison dormitory. And for that extra responsibility, he is remunerated more handsomely than the other warders. Of course, we make no mention of my husband's work to the neighbors. Yes, I believe your prudence is justified. Tell me, at what prison is your husband engaged? Barclay Prison, Mr. Holmes. Oh, really? Barclay? Oh, a fine establishment. If I'm not mistaken, there's a large cemetery just behind it. Oh, uh, yes, that's correct. A low gate cemetery. Okay, I think the connection is coming here. I'm quite concerned. Yeah. So, because I mean, there's so much to take in from all the previous stuff. I will assume... He is the one that supposedly, quote unquote, carried out the punishment for, well, that would now be um, Genshin Asogi, mm. who'd never actually died. Remember? Yeah. He was low key buried alive to escape and then got shot. And we still need to figure out, well, wait, the one that shot him, but no. We don't know who shot him, right? Or was that was, admitted to be. This was also be... years ago. It was 10 years ago, but they've been married for 15 years, oh. so I don't... He could have been at the time. And he ironically goes missing after that case where the truth is revealed yeah. that he never... That uh, the prisoner was alive at the time. So, uh... uh That's why he's like, oh. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's like, no. <laughs> Logate Cemetery? The very place we were discussing in court? That's unbelievable. Unbelievable idea, fellow. And yet undeniable. Did you read our thoughts? <laughs> I just know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Holmes, I'm afraid you've lost me. Ah, pay no heed, madam. <laughs> pay no heed. A private matter. This can't really be a coincidence. Can it? It can't be. I... No. <laughs> it's far beyond. No. Let's, uh... When did he disappear? About eight days ago? <laughs> well, <laughs> so to the matter of your husband's experience, when did you realize he was missing? Please try not to laugh. It was yesterday. I'm sorry? Uh, <laughs> yesterday? That really is recent. Laughably so. The truth is, my husband does at times have occasion to spend the night away for his work. It's not at all out of the ordinary for him to not return home at night, but this is different! For him to not make any contact for a whole day, it has certainly never happened before. Oh, my dear daily, what have can, whatever can have happened, I'm tripping over my own words. I'm so beside myself with grief and worry. <laughs> oh, worry not. I do the same thing. <laughs> my dear Mrs. Vigil, please calm yourself. Now then, have you contacted the police? Right, naturally, but sadly, they refuse to listen to my pleas as my husband has only been missing for one day. I was asked to wait patiently at home. In truth, uh, Mrs. Vigil, I concur with the police. However, let us not be hasty. I see no reason why we should not engage my deductive powers to track your husband down anyway. Oh, thank you, Mr. Holmes. And furthermore, let me assure you, a chance to solve the greatest problem known to man for another month has no bearing on my decision. <laughs> <laughs> I seek only to put a sweet smile on another Londoner's face. That's really all there is to it. You have my eternal gratitude. I shouldn't pay any sum you care to mention. Do you know how much my rent is worth? <laughs> For next month as well. Uh, you seek only to put this sweet's rent in your landlady's purse. That's all there is to it. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you for everything you have shared with us, Mrs. Vigil. I believe I have all the information I need to begin my investigation. Oh, please report to me soon with good news, sir. 
Fear not, madam. In a day or two, I shall be contacting you with a heartening report, I'm quite sure. So soon? Oh, how splendid, Miss Holmes. Good news should be delivered early, I always say. The red hair, I'm, I'm starting to get used to it. It's its weird that it is, it's, it, I, it, do, I don't even bat an eyelid no, anymore. No, it looks normal to me now, and I... To be fair, he chemically altered it, so it shouldn't change for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> if you would be so kind as to leave a photograph of your husband in my possession... Unless he Thank you very much. develops another chemical that changes it back, which he probably... I've invented hydrogen peroxide! Oh, God, no. <laughs> Thank you. Now allow me to show you the door. That means leave. <laughs> I this can't thank you enough, Mr. Holmes. You've been simply marvelous. Oh, God. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think it every time, Holmesy. But now, how do you come out with such nonsense? Good news in a day or two? Are you sure? I can't be sure, of course. But then I didn't swear on it. I merely but gave the good woman some hope. Did. You gave us so much hope. I hope to be able to give a good news one, I say. After all, the rent must be paid by the end of the day tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> by that time, I'm simply looking at Mr. Vigil. We shall be mutually relieved. I, I, I. T Wouldn't you agree, <laughs> Mr. Nahoda? Don't look at me with those pleading eyes. I don't want to be evicted. <laughs> Do you know how much time this would take to move all of our things? <laughs> Well, my dear fellow, did you hear the details of the case? Yes, my oh. hearing is surprisingly good, actually. <laughs> oh, well, excellent. And what did you make of it? Well, I was surprised to learn where her husband worked. At Barkley Prison, I mean. Ah, so you noted that? Of course, we're not stupid. Especially with the mention of Lowgate Cemetery. Oh, that guy! <laughs> Forgot well, how cool Cemetery he is. is at the rear of Barkley Prison. I don't know if that's the official voice. I don't. It I was don't like remember. it was that, but less robotic. I, I it's all flashback. He's in prison now. It was more matter. like just monotone. <laughs> it was renowned among our students at the university for being haunted by the ghosts of condemned convicts. Yep, that's that was it. As as well, he's in the prison now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Barkley Prison is where that notorious man was incarcerated. The professor. And now water from the prison has mysteriously disappeared, it would seem. It's all very peculiar. Indeed. But nothing you can't handle, I'm quite certain, Mr. Nahoda. Us? I... Sorry? Go along to the prison and see what you can glean. Would you? Uh... The prison governor you want? No doubt the matter's a blue boy. But, but, but aren't you going to go your, yourself? <laughs> hey, that, that turn. That, that turn to face him. You need him. to ask. I can't believe you now with this hair. Oh. Are you, are you, are you, what, are you, but didn't yeah. you go to Lime Street with that hair? That was a quite different matter. So I leave it in your capable hands. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm rather busy. He just, he just peaced out. <laughs> Doodles. Uh. Of course you are. He's staying inside because his hair is still red. I. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll go to the prison governor's office. So he's office. having us do the investigating for him. Because he doesn't want to be seen by anyone because he <sighs> fucked up his hair. God. Berkeley Prison is the outskirts of London, backing onto a lonely burial ground. Its four high outer walls loomed quietly before us in the fog. Having requested a meeting, we were shown to the governor's office in the watchtower. Whoa. Um, that's a hell of a clock. Holy hell, that This is a hell of a room. I... Huh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I... Huh. That's... That's Scottish, I believe. I can never remember the last time a <laughs> civilian was done here. <laughs> <laughs> this place is full of oil and criminals. I can't remember the last time. It, uh, wow, what you the fuck can't, was that? You can't do a Scottish accent. I can't. I, I fucking. I can't remember the last time. A, uh, why no. am I going into? Why am I going into gumshoe? Why is gumshoe <laughs> trying to come out of my voice there? <laughs> I could always do this. 
Go for it. <laughs> yes, this bliss is is it that the forensics guy from Investigations <laughs> has this is his ancestor. <laughs> this place is full of hardened criminals. I cannot remember the last time a civilian was doing here. Can't we ever have like a baby face? <laughs> yeah. That's and you didn't want face. to talk to an inmate, but to me. Whoa. Holy shit. He is a manly man <laughs> with my voice. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I'm the governor, Kai Barry Kaiden, not Carrie Biden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it's a pleasure. I'm Ryanuska Narhoto, defense lawyer. My brain did that switcheroo thing. <laughs> yeah. And then he's done there, I see. Does that mean? Yes, I'm a visiting student of law from the Empire of Japan. Japan? Did you say Japan? <laughs> um... Yes? I heard you had a problem with one of them before. <laughs> Oof. Well, there's no any of your kind in here, laddie. Maybe you should try the prison next door, eh? Uh. <laughs> I didn't notice another prison next door, sir. <sighs> anyway, we came to ask you some questions about- I didn't like you to- I didn't like to be so direct, but- I did say I can do a Scottish accent, but it's not that great. But no offense is better than yours. <laughs> I so <laughs> Gumshoe infected me when I was trying <laughs> yeah. to do it. I've no intention of speaking with Alexa, you suspicious looking Easterners. No intention of speaking if with you Alexa. You. <laughs> if you could change your face. If you could change your face. Would ya? Would ya? If I've you... no intention of speaking with Alexa, you suspicious looking Easterners. Uh, uh, I can't I give up. <laughs> if if you could change your hair. Would you? Well, I did, now, now unfortunately. Get, now get out of my hair! <laughs> <laughs> What's left of it? Oh, so as soon as he out we're from Japan, he mm. reacts like this. That surely means... Shirley Temple. <laughs> I think it's because of the professor case. You think so, too? Ten years ago, Genshin Isoki, also known as the professor, was incarcerated at this prison. And then after his execution, he apparently re-emerged from his grave in the cemetery behind the prison. I- I might have known! You're sniffing around a bit that case, aren't ya? Your agency part of the professor's great web, no doubt. No, no, not at all. We're just- Get going with ya before I punch your lights out! <laughs> We're going. We're going. Clearly the ghost of that killer still haunts this place. We're not going to get anywhere here. Unless we can somehow prove to this man that there's nothing suspicious about us. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Governor Kaiden. What are you thinking, Miss Usado? I feel sure that I, I... I feel sure... Okay. I feel sure that name came up in conversation recently somewhere. It's weird, weird, old-timey talking. Yeah. I'm not used to them having that kind of... Cadence. Yeah. I was wondering if whoever mentioned him might have some ideas to help us. Come to think of it, I have the same feeling. I don't know who it was, but we're gonna look at this evil fucking place and then I go find out who can help us. I love that he is like the Next manliest time. man ever. Uh, and he yeah. talks like this with He's my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I can't <laughs> he, do it. He right. sounds like a, a a a girl with a broken Scottish accent. <laughs> And when I did it, it sounds like a Scotman that was no. You being... you sounded like some. You sounded like someone, like, I don't know. It's it. It was like a Spanish Listen, accent. He was being. <laughs> he was being possessed by Gumshoe in the very moments of speech. That's Gumshoe trying to do an accent. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Oh. 